Redefine Travel, your source for traveling ideas. Today we give you the top wine destinations in the world. Now there's nothing quite as enchanting as a vacation in one of the world's great wine regions, where stunningly beautiful vineyards serve as a perfect backdrop for tasting some of the best vintages available. And while more and more wine destinations seem to sprout up every year, some places will always be outstanding for wine lovers. These 10 mouthwatering trips will inspire you to explore the wide world of winemaking. Enjoy! Number 10. Vienna, Austria The more time you spend in Vienna, the more you fall in love with this magical city. One of the favorite parts about living here is that you learn something new about Vienna nearly every day. Interesting tidbits about history, food, culture, and more. But wait! Vienna is the only capital city in the world to produce significant quantities of wine within its city limits. Home to over 1,700 acres of vineyards and 320 vintners, the Viennese love their wine. While the most popular are white wine varieties such as Brunner Weltliner, Rhein Riesling, and Weinburger Under, you can also find some nice reds. The best season to experience Vienna's vineyards is during autumn when the city hosts its annual wine hiking day. With three routes spanning a total of 15 miles, visitors can amble the city's vineyards while sampling delicious food and wine pairings. There are places dotted along the route too, and expansive views of the city providing a picturesque backdrop. Number 9. Porto, Portugal Portugal, the country that gave us Cristiano Ronaldo, also boasts one of the finest wine destinations on planet Earth. This is Porto. It is Portugal's second largest city and was elected second best city in 2021, best European destinations in 2017, and awarded as European's leading destination in 2018. Every year, the city attracts thousands of tourists eager to discover the ancient downtown, the typical riverside with colorful painted houses, to get lost in century-old cities, to enjoy the Portuguese gastronomy, and of course, to taste its delicious wines and visit the port wine cellars. If you're in Porto and haven't planned a trip to the stunning Douro Valley, but find yourself in the mood for a port wine tasting, there are plenty of choices, mainly on the other side of the Douro River, Gaia. Each visit is different, featuring a tasting room, artisanal cheese, or amazing chocolate pairings, and on-site sommeliers, among other fantastic experiences. Number 8. Tenerife, Spain Spain is currently undergoing an exciting winemaking renaissance, and it's on the island territory of Tenerife that many of the most compelling bottles are made. The largest of the seven Canary Islands, Tenerife is split into North and South territories by the dominating volcanic Mount Teed. The southern half is hotter, drier, and sunnier, making it a popular year-round destination for hordes of European tourists. The north, by contrast, is cooler and more humid, providing the perfect conditions for high-quality viticulture. Tenerife's well-established wine route and the majority of its bodegas, wineries, are located in the northeast of the island, close to the city of San Cristobal de la Laguna. Visitors can enjoy an array of wines made using indigenous varieties, including the delicate Listan Blanco, Listan Negro, and Babosa Negro, which is vinified into powerful flinty reds. Arguably, the most exciting bottles currently arrive from Listan Prieto, an ancient red variety that's enjoying a resurgence around the world. Number 7. Uco Valley, Argentina Buenos Aires is the capital of Argentina, that we all know. However, the hub of its wine business lies nearly 750 miles to the west of Mendoza. Uco Valley is a name that both fine wine lovers and budget-conscious shoppers need to know. Located 88 kilometers to the south of the city of Mendoza in the foothills of the Andes, the Uco Valley spans the departments of Tunien, Tupangato, and San Carlos. A high-altitude sub-region of the Uco Valley offers breathtaking views of the Andes Mountains and some of the finest wines currently coming out of South America. While Argentine Malbec is recognized and enjoyed worldwide, a number of winemakers within the Uco Valley are working to establish new sub-appellations and highlight the complex terrier that often goes underappreciated. Many of these wines reach international markets, but a visit to the region offers the unique opportunity to taste single vineyard bottlings and boutique projects that aren't produced in large enough quantities to export. You see, this isn't an exaggeration. Okay, run through the different wine producing valleys you're familiar with in your mind. Which of them boasts a 4,800 meter high mountains planted with carefully maintained vineyards? And where does the sun shine so clearly through such crisp, hallucinary skies? Number 6. Valle de Guadalupe, Mexico Mexico is sometimes a polarizing destination for people. Some picture sunny beaches, dynamic cities, and a rich cultural melting pot of people and food and ideas. 
but there are two things people were never familiar with in the same sentence until recently, Mexico and wine. A good wine country isn't great without an abundant variety of things to do, eat, see, and experience. And fortunately, Valle de Guadalupe ticks all those boxes, boasting Mexico on the world map of best wine destinations. Hidden away just an hour south of Tijuana and the California Baja border, and 30 minutes inland from the coast of Ensenada lies Valle de Guadalupe, not just any Baja town, but a destination that prides itself specifically on its ability to produce delicious, locally made, small batch wine. Instead of one or two signature varieties, producers focus on a range of grapes suited to the warm climates of Southern Europe. The high quality winemaking is matched by farm to table dining and multi-course tasting menus from acclaimed chefs. Number five, Cape Wineland, South Africa. Wine will never be wine again after you taste the sweetness of South Africa's Cape Winelands district. Situated within easy reach of Cape Town and famed for producing some of the world's finest wines, the Cape Winelands delight travelers with their magnificent scenery, fine wines, and mouth-watering meals. Its classic Cape Dutch homesteads, mountainous surrounds, grand heritage, and sumptuous restaurants have earned the Cape Winelands the right to call itself South Africa's culinary capital. Apart from a wide choice of wine state cellars lined with top-class wines, visitors will discover a variety of locally produced cheeses, olives, export quality fruit and organic produce to sample and buy. The sheer beauty of the winelands not only lures photographers and artists to capture its magnificence, it regularly plays host to weddings, conferences and special occasions. Number 4. Santorini, Greece Known for its whitewashed houses and brilliant blue waters, Santorini is one of the most popular Greek islands, but few realize that the island has a surprisingly long history of winemaking. Santorini's wines was famous across the Mediterranean in ancient times and is exported around the world today. Thanks to the volcanic soil and microclimate of Santorini, the island wines have a unique taste. Nicheteri, Vinsanto, and Mezzo are a few of the local varieties you'll find in Santorini's restaurants, and the majority of wineries are located in the southern and central parts of the island. You can visit Santorini's vineyards and wineries either as part of an organized tour or individually. You may also want to buy yourself a bottle to enjoy in your hotel balcony. There's nothing better than a glass or two whilst looking out to one of Santorini's famous sunsets. Number 3. Tuscany, Italy there are many ways in which to fall in love with Tuscany, its landscape, its people, its food, or its art. However, the region's wonderful wines speak a different language. Whether you're a connoisseur or not, no trip to Tuscany would be complete without tasting one of the region's world-famous local wines. Chianti is arguably the most well-known, and the Chianti region is one of the most beautiful in Tuscany. With its rolling hills and endless vineyards, this scenic landscape is straight from an Italian postcard. Tasting venues in Tuscany range from rustic farmhouses to medieval castles. Many tours also involve a local expert demonstrating how to taste wine correctly and which foods they work with. You'll gain a wonderful insight into the history of Tuscan wine, all whilst enjoying a tipple or two yourself. Number 2. Bordeaux, France Bordeaux as a whole is a name that has become synonymous with quality and history in the wine world. It is without a doubt one of the most famous, if not the most famous, old world wine producing regions on the planet. Today it has also become an in-demand tourist destination thanks to the reputation vintners have earned here. It's become so famous in fact that recently a wine amusement park was erected in order to celebrate the wines of the region, offering additional incentive for travelers to come visit. While there's a range of sub-appellations within the Bordeaux region, it's perhaps easiest to dissect the area by splitting it in two. For the sake of our video, we'll discuss it as having a left and right bank split in two by the Gironde River. The left bank of Bordeaux is perhaps the most well-known, thanks to centuries-old producers still in existence that have been known for years to produce some of the finest and most expensive red blends in the world. On the other hand, the right bank producers tend to craft wines that are Merlot dominant, backed by smaller concentrations of Cabernet Sauvignon. It's also important to note that Bordeaux winemakers on both the right and left banks are producing white wines and sweet wines as well. Some of these producers are equally historic, if not more so. Number 1. Napa Valley, United States Long considered one of California's best wine tasting destinations, Napa Valley attracts over 3 million visitors each year. The valley is famous for its prized Cabernet Sauvignon, and with more than 400 wineries dotting its fertile soils, a tasting is never far away. Conveniently located between San Francisco and Sacramento, Napa Valley makes for the perfect day trip from either city. 
However, it's best to book tastings in advance, as many wineries have permit restrictions or tastings only at specific times. Despite this formality, as around 95% of Napa Valley's wineries are family-run, you'll soon feel at home. And that brings us to the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed our video. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel for more of our awesome content. And please give us a like and share the video. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our new uploads. We value your feedback. And feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comments section down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.